This week, from the internet, we got one! Collectors back the pack and unlock the first stretch goal for Hasbro's Proton Pack. Also, oh no, it's the Rancor! Plus, Santa Claus is coming to town, and he's pissed. Forget Elf on the Shelf, these Yuletide offerings are action figures meant to trigger. Stand back, it's the Reluctant Adult Podcast. Welcome to another episode of the Reluctant Adult Podcast. My name is Paul, and I am joined, as always, by the man with a box of Ecto Cooler so old, it could be graduating college, Bill! Hi, everybody. That's true. It is that old. (laughs) Have you tasted it? recently no no is it edible it's like a twinkie it lasts forever (laughs) i've seen i've seen youtube videos where it's where they open open a box and it's oh it's nasty black oh it doesn't look good probably still tastes fine though all right new new uh new segment here at the top of show we're gonna cover five topics in five minutes set that clock topic number one ecto cooler so this week the what is it? High C? Do they make Ecto Cooler? They, they announced did. that they are bringing back Ecto Cooler in promotion for this Ghostbusters Afterlife, but you can't buy it. You have to be famous. You have to be internet <laughs> famous if you want yes. it. Yes, and we're not quite there yet because I've tried. Not quite. <laughs> yeah, man, people are begging. They are literally begging. Please, that's pretty wild. Please. <laughs> Please, Please, hi, Z. Please send me a little mini Gatorade bottle with the Ecto Cooler label around it. Yeah, exactly. And you, I, I, I can only guess that not many people are actually going to open this up and, and taste no. it. No, they're going to keep it. They're going to put it under their pillow, save it, <laughs> put it in a safe, keep it forever. Or they're going to put it right up on eBay because this stuff is selling for hundreds of dollars. Yes, it is. It's kind of like remember when remember when Twinkies were going to go away? Yes, they 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 sold the brand and company disbanded. Exactly. And cases were like people were buying them for like 80 bucks a case because they didn't know when the Twinkie was going to be over. This is this is right where it's at. The Ecto Cooler. Yeah. So it's like, what is the point? It's just it's completely promotion. There's no but it's promotion for the movie. Or do you think this is promotion to bring back Ecto Cooler as an actual thing that you can buy in stores? I don't see why they can't. It was it was rebranded after it was Ecto Cooler. I think it was uh, like Lava Burst or Citrus Twist or something like that. There wasn't much to it. So it's definitely it could come back without an issue. I think people would buy it. All right, we'll get we'll get we'll get into more Ecto Cooler later. But that's the end of our first minute. Second topic. Thank you, Counter, for telling me you're done. Let's reset this. I need to find a better way to do this. All right. Dismiss. Thank you. Second topic. Super 7 Ninja Turtles Party Wagon finally revealed in all its glory. We saw the tease last weekend. Now we know uh, what it comes with. And more importantly, how much it costs. So you were thinking, what was your estimate on how much this was going to cost? I think I was thinking like three hundred dollars. Three hundred. Yeah. To be fair, and I was saying I was saying five hundred. And guess who was right? You. This guy. That, that <laughs> daddy. Five hundred dollars. And uh, the internet is very divided, or I should say, they're pretty much all on the side of this is way too much money for what this is. Right. Right. Well, it's larger. I think they reduced the price. I think some retailers actually reduced the price by about. I think thirty five, forty dollars right now. Well, there was a lot of confusion because the Big Bad Toy Store had it for X. Uh, I think it was actually like closer to five hundred. Entertainment Earth yeah. had it for four fifty, and then usually you get oh that, that was a, that was a quick minute. All right, wow. We'll finish up our we'll finish up our thoughts there later. Heading over to our next topic, which is Hasbro's Haslab Rancor. We now know all of the stretch goals, yep. and each one was worse than the last. It was, and the paint application is atrocious. It just looks weird. Like they it were does. saying, like, oh, over 800 paint apps. Yeah, but it's the wrong shade of brown. It's way it too dark. Is. It's dark. It looks it's like that original Kenner Rancor. Does it? You think so? No. That's, that's what the first thing that popped. Well, the color scheme, at least. That's what popped in the really? mind. Really? Really? I mean, well, the color scheme for the original is just plain brown. There's nothing to it, there's that, no paint I mean, detail. That's other just than that the dark teeth. brown. 
So the the first stretch goal was a Gamorian guard re release yes. on the vintage card with the coin. Right. Second second stretch goal. This Bones is where in a cardboard really, backdrop. Yeah, this is really where things started to falter. Yes. Third third salacious crumb on a card. Yes. Who cares? Fourth people like please be Gamorian guard or please be Rancor Ula, keeper. Rancor no. keeper. Any of those. Luke Jedi. Definitive uh, edition Luke Jedi. I knew, doesn't even look good to me. All right. <laughs> well, no, we'll have to get back not. to that a little bit more. Here we go. Next topic. Uh, these Santas from uh, what is the company? Fresh Monkey Fiction. Yes. So these are a line. It's called Naughty or Nice. It's a line of, I believe, six inch Santas and then uh, elves, and nutcrackers. elves and nutcrackers that are appropriately scaled to that. Yep. It's not a Kickstarter, really. You can right. buy it on Big Bad Toy Store, but it seems like the more they sell, they're unlocking different versions, <laughs> different flavors of Santa. So- as far as now, I know, all the Santas are funded. It's the elves and okay. the... So if you buy in now, you will get your Santa. The Nutcrackers yeah. and the elves have not been funded yet, which is no big deal to me. So they don't I'll seem like a big value. No, of course yeah. not. They just revealed a Krampus. Saw... Deluxe yes. Krampus too. So Some of them have alternate heads. Um, yep. There's a zombie yep. Santa that comes with an evil Robo Santa. Robo Santa. I, I really, I really like these. I think I need to get on these. I think I'm, these are one of the things that I'm going to regret if I don't fund well, a couple of them. Well, now you know you can back them. Yeah, absolutely. Right. That, we'll talk about that a little bit more. Final topic, Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. What do you think? You excited? There were some some things the internet figured out that maybe yes. there were pieces digitally removed, not to give right. away spoilers. Nothing is safe once it gets posted to the internet because people will pick it apart half internet frame sleeps. by half frame. You know? Yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah. So no, it looks yeah. exciting. Um yeah. you know, it's kind of like what we've been expecting this whole time the last six months that we might get this and we might get that. And yeah. So I'm I'm there for it. We'll see. I'll probably we'll see. go go see it. Yeah. Marvel trailers notoriously tricky. They like to change up stuff so that your your actual movie going experience is a little different. So something that you see in the trailer may not actually appear in the movie the same way. So you have to be careful. Obviously, we saw the part where all the villains are on this side of the screen and then one Spider-Man is swinging. But you see the the lizard go like this. So yes. like clearly something Air interacted him. with him that we didn't see. But that was in the uh, international trailer. So. Okay. All right. So that was our five topics in five minutes. So five now and five. let's just uh, Kickstarters. I think I'm going to call it Kickstarters. Ah. No, trend starters. Yes, trend starters. Because these are trending topics, but also start the show. I don't know. We're, we'll work on a name. Now we can sort of relax. That was that was a lot of pressure. That um, was. If you if you only watched five minutes of the show, you got you got a taste of the news for the week. But now Panic. let me. Let me turn off my timer and now we can just sort of relax and talk. So do you want to go back to Ecto Cooler? Because I think we have a lot more to say about that. Of course. Yeah, let's all right. Let's go into Ecto Cooler. So So, it it was last week. High C made this tweet. They had a video prepared and it was basically like you can't buy it. But if you get lucky, you might be slimed. So people were speculating what that meant. Maybe they were going to have a contest maybe they would be out promoting the movie right but basically or, what it seems like is if you are an influencer on the internet that has some connection with the ghostbusters maybe you got this very nice box that was printed to look like the uniform of the ghostbusters and then inside yeah. was one bottle of ecto cooler right so i I've, I've seen shots with people in the theater so i think there was some theater tie in whether it be random or specific. Um, A lot of people like to do the cell phone flashlight under the ecto cooler trick. So it is that what they're doing. I wondered how they were doing it to glow. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, probably like one person thought of it. And then everyone else was like, well, that's a great idea. I better do it. (laughs) It is a great idea. I wonder if I saw Ghostbusters this past week. And there was one Ghostbuster mm-hmm. in the theater, which was like it was almost embarrassing to see because I was like, oh, God, one person dressed up, one person dressed up. Everyone else wore shirts. I wore a shirt. My yeah. cousin wore shirts. So that it's was like the, that was the average thing to do. But it's not a comfortable costume to wear inside for a well, long it's period not. Of time. It's not. No. Yeah. All right. Well, you mentioned Ghostbusters. I have not had the opportunity to see the movie yeah. uh, because my my second son was born this week and uh, that screwed up everything. 
<laughs> week early. Was going to have plenty of time to go see it, but now who knows when I'm going to go. But I want you to review the movie without spoiling, spoiling it at all, because I okay. because you said that the spoilers we read like a year ago or so yes. were wrong. So I guess yes. I guess I'm going in fresh if I ever get you to see are. it. No, you I are. Want, which is excellent. Yeah. OK, it's so tell excellent. me. Give me so, your spoiler free review. So you and I read a leaked kind of like screenplay about eight months ago. We came to the conclusion that, hey, this would be good. I can 100 percent definitively say that we read the wrong thing, wow, which is okay. perfect because yeah. I walked in having that expectation and mm. I was totally surprised. Wow. Okay, so great. So I'll just go in blank slate, not expecting anything. Yes. I mean, expect yeah. the the Stranger Things vibe. Um, yeah, that's fine. Characterization that's fine. was good. Characters were good. Um, pacing do was we get good, enough, I would say. Do we get it? Do we get enough of the original Ghostbusters in it? Were you satisfied? I would say we do. I say it okay. doesn't lean on them that much, which is good. OK, that's fair. That's which is fair. good. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, at this point, you want to use them appropriately, but it's not right. it's not it's not like it's not Ghostbusters three. It's not their movie anymore. Right. And you want course. there to be you want there to be more of these. Does it does it leave right. it in such a way that you think that this will continue? It does. It closes. Okay. It closes some things, but at the same time, it opens some up. We do get answers mm -hmm. as to why these why this kid or these kids are all of a sudden wearing proton packs and are able to um, mm. use them and everything, which is perfect. So I I left feeling very satisfied. Great. All right. Well, I'm excited. A lot of people were posting that they got very emotional during the movie. Can you do you agree with that? I mean, I would say it's one of those things where you get some emotion. Yeah. But I, I didn't I didn't really I didn't really see it that much. Did you get emotional during the last Star Wars movie when we see Han again for the final time? Oh, when he talks to Kylo Ren? Yeah. No, no. Oh, I OK, was like, I how was how was so he think, there? You did? Oh, no, wow. I see. I didn't I didn't worry about like how he's there. I was just like, oh, man, <laughs> like, no, damn, that this, wasn't really that wasn't me. me at all. That wasn't okay, me at okay. all. So I think I think I they, they did it throughout the whole movie. They did it with Han Solo. They did it with Luke again. No, I know. It's just something about the music. I don't know. They killed off Chewbacca and then they were like, no, that, we did. That didn't get me. That didn't get me because I knew either. I mean, that was such a terrible like that would have been such a terrible way for him to go. I knew he was coming back. So I wasn't I wasn't really upset at that. But yeah, just to I see would, Han again. That yeah. really got me. I would say now I could get emotional at the theaters. I get emotional when I watch E.T. Um, wow. If I wasn't next to my cousin who yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to embarrass myself in front of, I oh, probably would have been a little bit more emotional, but I didn't you want him back. being like I held it back. So I would say I would say excluding his company, I probably would have been like, oh, man, it kind of. uh don't Here we go, go to any Pixar movies with the, with this guy. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh Stone my God. face. P P Pixar just likes to get it. Get you. Just twist that. So this knife. was supposed to be. This was the movie to go back to. I think for me. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. To get back yeah. back into the theaters. We had a great time. I went to an early showing because I wanted to get mm. that popcorn bucket at AMC. Yes. Yes. So I was I was pleased to say that I did get it. There, there it is. is. Woo. There's you open it. There's the box. Yes, I did yep. in preparation. Okay. It opens very easily. It's very collector good. friendly. Very good. I like um, that. There it is right here. Ooh. About one eighteenth scale. There's a little tab that you pull out for the light yeah. feature. Oh, batteries included. Batteries included. Nice. I'm glad um, they didn't do sound because that would have been so annoying. Yeah, they the didn't do sound. There's the opening smart. of it. There's the inside that's great. There, you can put toys in there. You don't even you can put use toys in there. Yeah, my yeah. my my son put Stretchy Monster in there. There you go. Absolutely Season, loved series it. Series two coming soon. But yeah, so here we that's are. Great. This thing, this thing for thirty five bucks. Great. It it's incredible. I'll the tell wheels you what, don't work, I, but man, that's fine. Who cares? There's something about these popcorn tins, the popcorn buckets. Disney has been doing them. Yeah, and I've always admired them. 
I I've resisted getting into them, but like I've always been like, wow, that's they put a lot of work into a pop. Right. There's a lot of engineering. There's there's one now that's Simba like you're like he's being held up at the. Oh, really? That's funny. Important moment. Pride and like Pride Rock. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like, wow, that is like a very cool item. So I definitely want to get one of those. I obviously did not make it to theater there. Apparently, AMC will be putting them on their website Monday, which will be too late if you're watching this. Um, but yep. we'll see what kind of disaster that ends up being. I, I would say good luck. Good luck getting it. If you are, if you yeah. are reaching to get one, um, yeah. you sent me that photo. I thought it was yours with the with yeah. the back seat that was full of, I think, what, 10 of them. Someone just went in there and was like, give me all of them. So we get there and like, I'm like, I've, I've got this, that feeling you get when you're like, I got to get into the aisle. I got to find the toys. So I pick up the pace to drive there. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I'm like, oh, shoot. And they had them. They had them on display, which was great. They had them where they would normally store bags of popcorn. Oh, behind. And them, I yeah. was like, and I was like, I want one of those. And they're like, <laughs> they're like, all right, man, that's fine. And I go, they go, you know, grandmothers have been coming in all week long, getting them for their kids. And I go all week long. I've called you guys and you guys were tight lips saying we're not getting we can't tell you anything about these. I was like, ah, oh. all week, all week. So they were selling them prior to Thursday. They were selling them prior to Thursday. Ooh, against the law. I don't think there was. I was. The, I don't even think there was anything that said that they couldn't. So mm. I'm just surprised more people didn't pick up on that then. Sure. So you so it was it was a uh, stress free. You didn't have to like fight anybody for him like tickle me. Elmo. No, we walked in. That's the great. theater was pretty empty, which was cool. I really enjoyed mm-hmm. seeing the four o'clock show. I got out. Um, yeah. Had the whole night ahead of me. Yeah. Yeah. Went and saw that Toys R Us that was gutted. Oh my was, God. That was a sad sight. You so there. Yeah. So in New, New Hampshire, we would always go to the same sea. And then across the street was the mall. And then yep. up the road from the mall was Toys R Us. And, you know, that was that was the Toys R Us to go to. That was just was. like when you when I when you and I thought Toys R Us, we thought of that one. And then, yeah, you sent me this video, these photos, and it's they just tore it down to the yeah. to the nuts and bolts like it's just gone yeah it's a shell it is yeah. it is what you would call a shell <laughs> yeah so i wonder so. what the plans are for that space now it'll be an ollie's <laughs> oh my god some of them did become ollie's at least one i did heard they? of <laughs> i was I it went just... speaking of ollie's i'm sorry to i mean I, this is a perfect segue speaking of ollie's i went there today because it's just the season of who the hell knows what ollie's is going to have and right. who the hell knew that Ollie was going to have the loyal subjects Ghostbusters. Whoa. So these these were you've probably seen these at Target a year ago. Um, I pass on them because they're not great. They're kind of weird. Yeah. But I love collecting the display boxes. That's something that I've started to do. And there was only a, there was only five, actually six, but I threw away the other one um figures left so i just walk them up to the register and i'm like oh you don't even need to bag them just put them back in the box and uh, the, all these people don't care they're all seasonal no, they're they like, don't care at all whatever so i there's a few like harder to find figures as they do with these and uh this dana is apparently hard to find one of 96 or so oh, and wow. it says she glows in the dark i mean it's not like she is that weird white that glows in the dark so i'm not really sure what that looks like. But if you look on eBay, she's going for going for about 30 bucks. So that's more than I paid for all of them. So that's nice. There you go. Yeah. I wonder if I should go to Ollie's and see. But, but it's hit or miss. So who knows? It's absolutely hit or miss. It's yeah. just so random. And you have to look everywhere because you never know where things are going to be, especially now they have all the toys up front for Christmas. Right. Yeah. Um. So this all started with Active Cooler. How many people have you seen on your your accounts get it? I saw Dinosaur Dracula get it, which I'm very happy okay. about. Matt, he he's really kept nostalgia going since yeah. that time when no one really cared. He's he's had the, the websites xentertainment.com and now dinosaurdracula.com. So I felt really good that he was able to get some. I've seen a few other people and then I've seen like generic like movie theater photos where people have them. So, yeah, I've seen the generic not movie a ton, not a ton. I've seen the uh, the um, yes, have some podcast 
crew okay, that, that get theirs. Sense. Yeah. Um, I think they actually, I don't think they got them. I think they got them for the premiere that they went to New York oh, for. Okay. Huh. So again, kind of weaved into that. Did into Pixel Dan get one? I haven't seen it yet. He's not really a Ghostbusters. He isn't. Like, you don't think he of isn't. him when you think of Ghostbusters. No. I don't know who but you I don't think really, of. Yeah, I was going to say for toys, there's not really, there's like Ghostbuster news. There's definitely right. Ghostbuster. It's like they're, they're like all general Ghostbusters. It's not like just toys. I was I was looking because you're a little blurry right now. You won't be when this posts, but you've got a balloon that just yeah. kind of creeped into frame. And I thought it was I thought it was Slimer. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> this was from my first son's birthday last week. Where he turned oh, five. Nice. So I got two birthdays, two kids birthdays in the span of a week. Then my wife's birthday is tomorrow. Three November birthdays. And then my birthday is in December. So that's uh, wild. Last two months of the year. Very big for birthdays in my house. Yeah. Yeah. So I mentioned Pixel Dan. I like to have segues. Um, the party wagon for Ninja Turtles Super 7 was released this week. And honestly, it really sort of brought the mood of the room down because a lot of people okay. were excited for this toy. But then when that price tag was announced, people are like, I just don't. I was like, I think I think we've sort of reached a crossroads in collecting where there are too many high priced items for yeah. everyone to buy everything. Like, yeah, you we're really are right in now. This, yeah, you really have to pick and choose. And Pixel Dan made a series of posts where he was really bummed out about the price because he wanted to support it. But he's just like, there's too much else going on in the yeah. world that I, I know, need. He doesn't want to support it. Yeah. I know but that's that's really that's a blow right there. I'm trying to think I, who I, brought up the good point about um, the cost of Snake Mountain that Super 7 put yeah, out. Yeah, which versus, was like 500 bucks, right? Yes, it was. It now, was. that was a few years ago that it was solicited. So it could yes. be just the rising cost of everything is it could be to this. But man, that or, sucks I mean, if that's the case. Right. I mean, licensing does does take a take a chunk out of it as well. So yeah. you know, they have to pay. They have to pay playmates to. to but they had to pay out. Mattel yeah, for He Man. They, so they did. I mean, who knows what the deals are? But right, exactly. It's just a lot of money, and I don't feel like there's a lot of product or play value there with it. No, it's, because it's, it's very cramped inside. I don't. I. I, I don't. Like, right. All of their stuff is based on the toys. So like they tried. Yes. They they had to like. If they wanted to give the interior more detail, they had to sort of create that. Yeah. So it seems very cramped. And it's, it's like an you art put... piece. That's all it is. It's an art but piece. But it's, it's it's weird because that that doesn't really flow with what the, the item is. Like, it's a toy. You should, like it is it a toy. should be fun to display with your figure. Yes, so it's weird. It should be. It should be. But yeah, that's yeah. it's a it's a sense you're getting a box and you say, you yeah. know, you can't really display the figures relative to the interior of the no. the van right and you you said it's cramped so you know you're going to pull out the the swinging arm seat have someone yeah. there which doesn't have any detail the on the inside did you see that it was just like gray yeah i did see that that was that was weird to me too it's just a very weird item and i really sort of question if they're just going to go forward with it or if they're going to like listen, if I like how it depends, obviously, on how sales have been. And we have no right. way to know, like Entertainment Earth knows how many they've sold. Big Bad Toy Store knows how many they've sold. Super 7, I think even Sideshow is selling it because they're talking about their payment plan. Oh, wow. But it's it's just a lot of money for something you're not going to see for more than a year. Yeah. And it's not. It doesn't blow me away. Like, there's just nothing no. about it. It's also very similar to the actual Playmates turtle van, which you could buy recently for $35 from Walmart. Of course. Of course. So it's just sort of weird timing. I almost wonder if if Super 7 sort of rushed this because they wanted to get to market prior to NECA because we've all heard that NECA is working on this, too. Oh, really? I have not heard that. Oh, you haven't heard that? Yeah. So the no. that is has been the rumor for the longest time. I think somebody found a Target like sales 
not that they bought it, but someone pitched it to Target. So it's okay. so it's like something that NECA has been working, whether it's going to happen or not. I mean, especially after NECA sees the reaction to this price. Yes, I don't think NECA's would cost as much just because their figures don't cost as much. They're basically right. half the price of what Super Seven. So if NECA put one out for two fifty, I think you'd see a lot of people canceling their five hundred dollar Super Seven uh, party wagon. Yes. And that that's a that's sort of interesting. What do you think the relationship between NECA and Super 7 is? Do you think NECA is like upset the Super 7 is even doing these because it in theory could eat into their bottom line or do they not care? But but I know Randy I don't think, wants I don't to have the care. best product. So right. if anything, he's just want he wants to show off and show like his stuff is better. Yeah, I'd imagine it would just be well, I mean, they're two different two different medias. So the Super 7 van is going to be modeled after the toys and the NECA one will be modeled after the cartoon. So they'll be but different. Are they so are they so dissimilar, though? I believe they are. It's still like yellow and green. It is still yellow and green. I'm trying to pull. But up yeah, no, I don't think I, I think I think, you know, they'll say, oh, yeah, they did it. But let's let's do it better and for less. I have that Lego or that Mega Bloks one, yeah. and like that's fine. I don't know. <laughs> like, I almost feel like if you get to a certain scale, it's sort of ridiculous. Because oh, of what course. do you like? Like, yeah. you're not gonna be able to play with it any any meaningful way. Like, it's right. not gonna roll down your your. Well, it's like hallway. that. It's like that that big Millennium Falcon that came out. Yeah, you know, a decade ago, if if not longer, you know, you're not going to be flying that ship around unless you're a grown man. But no kid is going to be hefting it up. Yeah. It was a place going to crush a playset. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And as a playset, I don't think that the Super 7 party wagon is going to be. Satisfying because it's right. not well, there's not a lot of stuff. There's like it's too dis- much dis- detail inside. It's all as I said, it's cramped. Again, it's just a display piece. Like I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. give my kid a five hundred dollar toy. I let my daughter, yeah. I let my daughter play with the katana Jabba sail barge, and it was, uh-huh. it was like the scariest thing that I'd ever done. Yeah. <laughs> so this is sort of a weird. I, th- I've always felt weird about the Super Seven line. I, I, I continue to feel thankful that I've never jumped in because it's, it's just people love it. And that's fine. It's just always yeah. sort of struck me weird. It's 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 niche in a weird way. It is that like people that like the original toys, but wanted them to be better, which I think we all do. But the old toys are the old toys reimagining them. Right. To, like larger with more muscles and like a little more articulation, but still not super articulated. Yeah. And then, that's then that, painted, I think that's what really painted accessories. Me. It's just right. And then like alternate heads. So it's not the toy. Right. It's just it's it's something it's obviously doing fine for them because they keep making them. But I do wonder if this is going to if this is going if like this has a lukewarm reaction. Does that mean like they're never going to try to do a technodrome? They're never going to try to do a sewer or like another vehicle oh, or something. Could you imagine, could you imagine technodrome? <laughs> how the price of that would be at thousands that of dollars? Yeah, yeah no I kidding. Don't even know. You could live in I don't it even know at that size. You could live in it. Yeah cocoon myself in it there Oof. God. so so that's that so that's not it's not technically a kickstarter but i you know right probably they still have to sell a certain amount to move forward oh, they're, sure. just not, they're just assuming they will something that is a kickstarter or is a crowdfunding is the Haslab rancor oh, and yeah. this this accomplished something this week that i have never seen before it actually lost funders once all the stretch goals <laughs> were released <laughs> It's actually further away from yes. its goal now that you know of all just the to be produced goals. just to be produced. Yeah. What's what do you who who's the blame falling on here? What happened here? I, I, I just I think I think the collector that buys and collects the six inch black series line is very fickle. Um, yeah. They're they're newer collectors. They're not lifelong collectors like I am. Mm-hmm. But. You know, they're they're newer collectors. They have maybe limited amounts of space and, you know, they don't understand. Maybe they don't understand what licensing goes into it, the size, the material work and everything. I mean, maybe they do, maybe they don't. But the base figure is definitely not a three hundred and fifty dollar figure. Yeah. 
it's the it's Rancor probably alone around the Rancor alone is not worth three hundred and fifty dollars. There's no yeah. way. Yeah. Um, at two hundred dollars, probably, but that would also mm. include the stretch goals. But there's yeah. no way that you could tell me that that thing is worth three hundred and fifty dollars. So somebody, I'll just read the tweet. This is at Blainer Things on Twitter. He writes, "I've never seen this in a crowdfund. The unprecedented." unprecedented cancellations tell us one thing many would have rather paid 350 dollars for just the figure pride is a strong thing and it's sad but people would rather not have it at all than have it with the slaps in the face now i i don't think hasbro intended this to be insulting to anyone i think they just were like this is what we can fiscally give you for this price and right well even though they wanted to include keep going even though Luke is an all new sculpt, maybe it still was cheaper for them to make that all new sculpt than to make an all new sculpt for for Malachi or whatever his name is, the, the Rancor Keeper. Yeah, but that's the what third the Jedi Maliki? Luke. Maliki. Yeah, Maliki. But that's the third Jedi Luke that we've gotten. Right. That's the thing, too. It's like we have this figure and then people are speculating yeah. that this is the sculpt's going to be used for a Luke from the Mandalorian. So it's like oh, you're going to get this Luke. This isn't if you want the Luke, you don't have to buy the rank or you're going to get the Luke some other way. Right. Well, it's like I that um, that cantina set that came out for a pulse con. Right. You know, yeah. the only reason to buy that was to get the quarter cantina piece because right. Evazin and Ponda Baba were going to come out anyway. And right. any collector worth his salt already had Obi-Wan. So. Right. So it's Except like. He- yeah, that's right. You didn't have him. Yeah, I don't have him. Um, I got I think I got mine at Ross. So it, it's sort of a weird thing where a lot of Star Wars collectors want everything like exclusive packaging is enough for them to buy whatever just to say they yes. have it. But then there's clearly enough people who just want the character. And if they can get the character for a lot cheaper, they're going to do that, even if it means wait. Right. Right. I think this is my theory on why this is losing backers. I think people had the expectation that the Rancor Keeper was going to be one of the stretch goals. And then some people been. thought and some people thought maybe Ula. So they were thinking they were going to get yes. three or two new figures and then the Gamorrean Gar. So they were thinking three good figures that they could then turn around and sell to offset oh, the yeah. cost of the Rancor. Like right. this is sort of what I would have done. If I knew for a fact that I could sell each of the stretch goals for like a hundred bucks yes. and knock a hundred bucks or whatever, you know, off right, the cost, of basically getting a free Rancor. But now that everybody knows that's not the case, people are thinking, well, I don't think I don't think people are gonna pay a hundred dollars for Salacious Crumb. People are not gonna no. pay anything for this bag of bones. People aren't right. going to pay a lot for Luke if they can get him later. It's just not worth it. I'm going to end up paying three hundred fifty dollars for all of this, and I'm not going to make any money back. Yeah. So that's a sad way to think, and that's just you know that's <laughs> that's the modern collector, and that's well, I think how that's the modern game. Then I think that's the modern crowdfunding for these things because we've seen it. Like with yeah. with uh, the, the Sentinel, you can you can definitely sell off the two figures it comes with and make some of that money back. Galactus okay. is coming with a bunch of figures. You're going to be able to sell those off. Right. So it's like if you just want the main figure and don't care about these, because usually the, the stretch goals are more obscure figures. Oh, sure. So it's like you it's it, it's in it's it's in the realm of possibility that you want the main figure, but not these stretch goals. So it's just yeah. it's just sort of been like a way of funding the crowdfunding and it's not the case with the Rancor. So I think we're seeing people backing away being like, I no longer think I could afford this because I don't think I'm going to get a return on investment on the stretch goals. Well, this is the first black series has lab project as well. Yeah, the first six so inch scale. Lot. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of expectation. I think people really expect <sighs> Maybe the last higher detail and then you know, yeah. overall higher quality. I'm Not just a bag so of thrown bones off and a cardboard backdrop backdrop bag, bag of bones. I know that bag that, of bones. that backdrop definitely should have just been part of the packaging like that's so silly. Oh, it should have been. I mean, they put that stuff out. I mean, you should see the uh, the Emperor's throne room that came out for PulseCon. That's a full yeah. display. Right. Built I into th- the I package. Th- 
I think that's where Hasbro is getting a little too cute with themselves. They're like trying to include things like it's and like we sort of see this with the Ghostbusters proton pack, but it doesn't matter as much with that because people just freaking want the proton pack. It doesn't matter oh, yeah. what the stretch goals are. But yeah, people, I think with these other ones, they want like some tangible items that that are they can get excited about and they're just not excited yeah. about what what Hasbro put out there. No. So the question now becomes, does the Rancor even get funded? I think it gets funded. You think it but does? But I don't think it gets funded. I think it gets funded by 9,000, but I don't think it hits any stretch goal. Do you think that Hasbro gets nervous and sort of does what Mattel did with the ring and announces, okay, we're going to add a figure, but you have to buy the next three days or whatever? Maybe. Or is this it? Is this it? They're going to stick to their guns and you get what you get. Well, how do they track that? Because I know with, you know, how they did that, that day one um tier for the proton pack you you know you had to be a pulse you had to yeah you had to be a uh, premium member so with mattel how how would they track that they just said you have to buy you this item by this date and that date was sooner than the overall end date of the project So it's like, let's say Hasbro wants to see a serious uptick in pledges. Because when does this end? It ends in 16 days. So a little over two weeks. So let's say by by Friday, the 26th, you have to back this. And if you back it by then, which includes everyone that has already backed it, if you back it by then, you will get the Rancor Keeper. And then see if that's really what people were waiting for. Yeah. But I don't think they're going to do that. I think they I mean, Mattel did that because their ring was failing miserably and they had to do something. And that was their first foray into this sort of thing. But Hasbro, they basically set the standard for this kind of stuff. They have. So they might just see it and be like, well, oh, well, you don't get it. Sorry. Well, yeah. And then it's really and then you probably get to see some people lose their job at Hasbro in the Star Wars division, because could you imagine mm-hmm. this thing doesn't get funded after all the money put into it? True. Very true. And they can't I saw... and they can't turn around and release it because then that sets a bad precedent for future ones. What did I see? So everyone who was like. Everyone who, you know, outright said, I'm canceling my order. There was a comment right below someone. Someone would say. Please back the the Sky Striker. <laughs> oh boy! If you're not going to back the Rancor, how's that doing? I I think that's kind of lagging there. behind as well. Yeah, yeah, that's not doing. The two too of well. them have been halfway there for the last week and a half. Yeah, they're just stuck. Meanwhile, just Proton a lot of Pack stuff. Proton Pack reached its first stretch goal. We're getting that hose. We're getting the hose, so we which can was at least pretty much our Spangler wand to the that's pack. A- we needed that. It also comes with the yes. stickers so we can turn this into a, a GB one proton pack, sure. which is, which is fun. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put stickers on my $400 proton pack, but more power to you. But yeah, um, so weird. I still think that's watch a weird this choice space. for stickers. Well, I think it's because people want it to be a GB one GB two proton. Pack, right. But there's so. still, there's still, there's still portions of the Spangler pack that yeah. are different. I think there's people are theorizing that you can like take off the soldered bits that like aren't there in the original okay. movies, but we don't of, know. A lot of we don't theories know. going around. A lot of theories, but it, that's what you have to yeah. do until Hasbro comes out and straight talks what's going on. Yeah, we got something so, coming on Monday. So yeah, we'll so know by, by the time we'll, nobody see this, posted, this but. there will be a a live fan first fan fest, whatever they call it, Monday fan fest Monday for Ghostbusters and. I'm almost afraid to watch it because I don't know if I'll have seen the movie yet. And I feel like they might get in spoiler territory at that point. There's not much to get. I mean, unless they they if unless it's very pack specific or. Yeah. If they're well, going you know, to do it's a different Bangler's PKE proton meter. back. So, yeah, but no, I there's imagine... not much. There's not much different. There's nothing right. really done to it. So I wouldn't okay. worry about right. spoiling anything for yourself. Maybe just in the comments, someone would like throw something out there. Like, oh, I yeah. Risk it. I don't want to risk it. No, I get you. The PKE yeah. meter has a as a, a secondary function in this. Oh, like the toy as it comes a taser. Yes. Yeah, so maybe okay. maybe they're going to put out a PKE meter that uh, does that it does still that. look like the original PKE. Meter? It does. Everything looks original. The That's traps good. look original. It's 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 oh, like a trap. time capsule. I know people, a lot of people have done the trap and done it pretty yeah. well. 
but like oh i'd love a, like a really weathered one that you could actually throw oh, sure. like it was like made of rubber or something that you wouldn't break <laughs> if you threw it there's a good gag so i was i i thought now just to get back into a really cringy uh what i thought was gonna be a really cringy character was that podcast yeah that kid is so funny oh good because all he does all he does is try to promote his podcast and he's just like (laughs) i've got a podcast and they're like oh my god you have a podcast and that's like (laughs) it's like every conversation i have so i was like yeah this is amazing (laughs) that's so funny because that is a very common thing and there there was a comic with a joke that's like if you haven't seen somebody in 10 years just say how's your podcast going because like you got a you got a 50 50 shot that they have right (laughs) at least one Oh, man. Well, I'm excited. I don't know. Yes. I'm I'm really I'm I, I was on the fence for a moment about back in the Rancor, but I'm pretty much off the fence at this point because I don't love yeah. the color scheme. I don't know. That way was another thing looks. we didn't talk about. He's so dark. He's so dark. I don't I mean, they showed the puppet and the puppet is much lighter, like almost tan. It is. Now, though, the, the puppet ju- that they did show, he had he had studio lights on him, so there is that i know they always say but that still. like like with the muppets like um uh bunsen honeydew like he looks a certain color i think he looks yellow on tv but when palisades yep. made him he was lime green because that's actually oh, what sure. color the the puppet is but on tv because of the right. lights it changes everything yeah it just the rancor just looks like i'm pulling up a picture of the the kenner rancor from the 70s or 80s and that's just what it looks like to me. It just looks like a big. All right. So it's a, this one's actually a little lighter. So it looks like a darker version of that. It just doesn't right. excite me the way I think it, no. it should have. It I think have, I almost like the the older versions that are all rubber. I think that's more fun. Yeah. It just oh, looks sure. too hard. It's it weird. does. It it's uh, it's it's, it's going to go right there with Cookie Monster. They're going to be hanging out. Oh, together. my God. Could you imagine the two of them? I want to see somebody yeah. do like a comic about that. A very specific. No, comic. someone <laughs> someone had the two of them at a bar at a bar. There you go. That's just what I like, want to see. Just like, like the, the Rancor for comics. It was a it was a dude with like toys. the Rancor head just kind of like being sad over a drink. And then the <laughs> guy with the Cookie Monster head was like looking over and I'm like, it's going to be OK, buddy. Mm, boy it'll i mean it's gonna be weird i almost feel like hasbro can't let this fail so whether they fake no. it and they they like bring in a bunch of people like they'll send well, people, out people gift guards for people to, to fund it people just have this impression that star wars can't fail and we've seen in the past yeah. five years that star wars can fail it's it's as it's as easy to do as anything else well especially if you don't play the right notes like they just put this out there and from a lot of people's perspective they went the cheap way they reused figures i know luke is technically new but this is the third version of this version of luke that we have it's not exciting it's not early too it was that's the other thing yeah so that you know it it, presumably unintentional but maybe to gauge interest yeah and maybe there was more interest than there seemed to be more interest than there actually is, or people just wanted something different. I don't know. It's just not working. I think, expecta- and, I think expectations were high. I think. Yeah. I think people expected a lot more with the lead time that was given. If they factored in the, the little verbal hiccup, that was the leak. Right. Right. But we knew it was on the horizon. So I think just expectations were very high. And you, like you said, you have certain characters that go yeah. with the Rancor. Right. There's expectations to be made. And one of them is the Rancor Keeper, and another one of them is definitely Ula. So I wonder, like, what what happens to those characters? We just never see them in this scale? Yeah. Or do they release them in stores in conjunction with the release of this to go with the anniversary of Jedi? Maybe it's... I mean, it's probably... I, I don't think we'd ever see an Ula, which is... That's the surprising one. We should have definitely seen it in a crowdfunding has lab um yeah medium i don't think we'll ever see ula packaged maybe for... maybe disney said no maybe disney doesn't want these they may have like raincore keeper without a shirt maybe they were like no we don't want right, that nobody wants nobody wants that they might say oh you're making this figure and someone might say well it's a fat shaming figure it's How fat shaming you? right what How was that you? female character that they made 
Uh, where is Jedi? she on my shelf here? What's her Miranda name? Del Gargan, I think yeah. it was. That was an unfortunate figure. <laughs> she was. How many breasts does she have? Several. Six. 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 <laughs> yeah. Five too many. So are we gonna five too many? Yeah. <laughs> are we gonna see a, a six inch version of that character someday? Right. So we'll just have to wait and see. Two weeks to go, and I don't know. Obviously, the numbers have ticked down, which is not what you want to see on crowdfunding. What's going to make them go the other way? I don't know. Me. There's there's Malici. <laughs> Me. Maliki. There the spotlight is. is on him. This is the old. This is the uh, this is the power of the force one, too. Yeah, that's all you just, need. Just plus him up. Look how good his face is. Yeah. Get that detail in there. Look there at that guy. Go. He was so sad. They need an alternate. Portrait he was. He cried. So sad. <laughs> he cried. <laughs> Ooh, he walks in. Ooh. <laughs> give him the Poor alternate guy. yeah the alternate head yeah. yeah so who knows maybe it will be like buy into it and you know we'll give you a voucher we'll give you a voucher for the two figures but Ooh. we're not going to release them for two years we're going to do an early bird there you go yeah uh-huh. an early bird exactly Listen, we just we just solved their problem they're doing we early did. bird the cutout and then just never make them and just never <laughs> make them <laughs> <laughs> some other company ends up buying the Star Wars license. They're like, oh, sorry, ran out of time. Up, oh, sorry. Yeah, we well, we decided to cancel the Black Series line due to yeah. lack of engagement. We're doing the White Series now. Totally different. Ooh, Seven inch scale. Wow. <laughs> All right. Enough. <laughs> enough about our sorrows. Yes. Let's enough rancor le- really lamentation. Fun. Is We're it, is talk it about Dollar oh, Tree finds? Yeah. Let's do. Let's do Dollar Tree finds. Dollar treat. Dollar treats say. are great. Mm-hmm. I love zombies. I don't mm-hmm. go to Dollar Tree enough. You go to, to Dollar Tree a lot more. I'm always jealous and want to go and see see the things that you see. Mm-hmm. So the new Final Faction figures started dropping in some um, oh. Dollar Trees. I haven't seen them yet. But that. what I did yeah. find were these amazing zombie Lego packs. Ooh, actual so, Lego? No, it's knockoff no. Lego. Knockoff, knockoff. Lego. Make make it blocks. Make Legal. it blocks. So <laughs> make it. you get you get a survivor plus two zombies. You get a survivor oh. plus two zombies here for a buck, which is great. So three figures for a buck. But then they wow. had, then they had these were great. They had boxes with headstones, so you oh could build goodness. your own cemetery for a dollar. What? For a dollar, that's the best buck. part. Yeah, so you get a zombie wow. plus headstones. Love it. This was my favorite one. This one's great. Skeleton in there with the <gasps> zombie. A skeleton. Oh, those are those. Yes. The best. Does it yes. look like the Lego skeleton? It does look like the Lego skeleton. Nice. It's missing arms and a head, but it's the torso and legs. Man, they were but really late a, on these. This would have been such a, a great dollar. Halloween. Yeah, I cleared the, the dollar store I went to. I cleared them out. <laughs> I think out. I spent yeah. I spent probably $25 on these. Nice. But now I can make my own cemetery. Think about how much you could get in Lego for $25, like a couple mini much. figures maybe. Not much. Yeah. And they're nice. great too. So here's the uh here's the Oh, that that, that looks headstone. very much like the Lego pieces. Wow. It does. It does. Yeah. They're definitely cheap feeling, but well sure. You get what you pay for. Here's our zombie. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I like it. And then another headstone. There we go. Yeah, so that was great. Well, I'm a lot of I fun. I'm going tomorrow. There you go. I might go there <laughs> did, as well. Did they have the rubber oh, five puppet below friends? Two? They didn't. That's why I went okay. there in the first place looking for the rubber puppet friends. Yeah, didn't see them. Saw huh. great art supplies. Saw yeah. a solution potentially for extra hands. Oh, how to display them. To a degree, or how to store them. Okay, okay. So they have they had a really good craft section for like things for a dollar, but they have these small yeah. little acrylic vials. Like, yes, like with storage the, with the the cork in it. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know if these great. had a cork. I don't even know if these had a cork. But oh, so yeah, some of them do. Pack of six for a dollar. Oh yeah, I went to Five Below as well. And five below had the uh, the G.I. Joe knockoff yep. Legos. Yeah. Have you seen these? <laughs> I love the packaging. 
the packaging is so retro. So I yep. got the Cobra Fang and the Cobra Ferret with Storm Shadow. Five bucks. And then the I think they were three ninety nine. They weren't even oh my five bucks. Goodness, even cheaper. And the Ninja Speed Cycle with Mr. Whoa. Snake Eyes there. Mr. Snake Eyes. So I built name. I built the Speed Cycle. Uh huh. Which there it is. Nice, nice. Definitely a little bit too big for for Snake Eyes here because there's Snake Eyes. Well, yeah, I was gonna say that's He's a tiny not really guy. To scale <laughs> with not, the figure. You get a great little Snake Eyes figure for that's nice, yeah, for what you pay for. But yeah, it's it's not in scale. So were these ever snake in eyes. actual stores? I don't. Remember. I don't think so. I don't think I sort so. of remember Lego trying to do Transformers. Yeah, and maybe GI Joe. But these are put out. These ago. are licensed. They're licensed by Hasbro. They were put out by this company called Forever Clever. Okay, so maybe. So Hasbro's efforts to do the Legos must have been a different thing, and these are new. Yeah. But cool. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Five Below, man, I tell you, I love I love going in there, especially in the holidays, because they just have... They've really embraced the blind box stuff. They have... They do. It's like they don't have the, the Ghostbusters I showed you, but they did have... They did have the... Loyal subjects Nickelodeon, <laughs> like put, oh, put wow. him in with this, so I can't get him out. Wow. Anyways, it's the Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, nice. He's got he's got like a red nose, like he's sick. And oh, okay. So you can see the other guys. I didn't really love all of them because it's all different art styles because it's all different shows. But I thought Rocco was sure. actually pretty good. You don't see a lot of Rocco representation out there, so that's a good. He thing had to a get. pop that was pretty nice. It came with Spunky, so I have that. I, that's another show that I didn't love the show, but I really liked the character design. Oh, really? So, I was yeah. a big fan of Rocco's Modern Life for whatever reason. I, I really liked it. it was Did coming you try off to of watch that the new Stimpy, one? Though. I didn't, no. It was hard. It was hard to, to get through. <laughs> I don't really know what happened there, but it was not, not great. Cool. Yeah, so I love you know, Dollar Tree, Five Below. I love a store you can walk into and like basically you know you can afford anything in there. Yeah, like you're not going to have to worry about price tags or you're not going to break your bank. You can get a dollar ribeye in the freezer. You're good. <laughs> you just can't. I can't with the food. So, OK, I want to talk about this naughty or nice line from. Yeah. What is it? Fresh monkey. Fresh Fiction? monkey. Yes. So I'm not really familiar with the company, but I've seen the pictures of the Super Mario inspired figures for Eagle Force. Have you seen these? I it's have. like they're like military looking guys, but then they colored them like Mario and Luigi and gave them mustaches. So they're doing Santa's. You can get them on Big Bad Toy Store. The Santa's are running about thirty six ninety nine, which I think is pretty fair for like a six inch. Yep. Uh, they're all specialty. funded so that you will get one. I saw. OK, are they all funded? Because they were talking about this. The camo one. Not met yet. So I don't not know met. if okay. this one is is funded but probably will be um and then there's the the smaller figures like the elves which are four points or five points of articulation why, yeah. why would i why would i buy that i don't want that <laughs> I, I don't think they look i mean just to build scenery but i don't i don't think they look no. that great that's sort of a weird thing like i don't think those are going to get funded or like i could care less if they did yeah there's an accessory well, there's, think... pack that has a cape yeah, kind of like that. And then they just they just announced a couple Krampus figures, a yes. regular and a deluxe. And the deluxe also comes with the cape. So the and deluxe is more sack. I think the Krampus, the deluxe Krampus is 50. He but is. it comes with the, the cape and a bunch of stuff. Yeah, he comes with two lumps of coal instead of just one. <laughs> he comes with a sack. His his cookies are green, his plate of cookies. Yes. I really like these figures. I got to figure I don't need like a ton of them, but like I got to figure out if I was no. just going to get one. I think I want Which the zombie one, one because it comes with an alternate like evil Santa head and hands. Okay. Which I think it looks really, really fun. And it's like a normal Santa body with just like a little blood on the collar. Yeah. So it's like, do I need that and normal Santa? Because normal Santa comes with a head that has a hat. Uh, maybe I need normal Santa. I think that's probably what What's, I need to do. What scale are these lining up with? Like, what could you do with this? This. So, this so it says it's six inch. So Marvel Legends scale. 
okay. everyone sort of has a different definition of 112. So, yeah, because Santa is a smaller guy, right? Isn't he depicted as being like a small guy? Uh, I don't think no. I mean, I think that all depends yeah. on which Santa you're looking at. I think I think there's been larger Santa. What's the with the uh, you know up on the rooftop reindeer run? Isn't he like? Isn't there a line in there that describes like he's a little man? Is it like a squat portly fellow? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You're thinking of like like all these modern retellings, like Goldberg is playing Santa, or <laughs> like that he's like muscular. Oh no, Santa. I'm not thinking that. I'm not thinking okay. that at all. This is this is okay. So I googled how tall is Santa. Santa varies in height, yeah. but is commonly depicted as six foot. In the 1837 okay. poem, "A Visit from Saints," and then it gets cut off. Let me see what it says. I agree. All right, let's see. A visit from St. Nicholas is described as a jolly elf with small features that may imply that he's actually the size of an elf. Oh, so but let's say that the the elf figures are four inches, so he's yeah. larger than them. Right. So I take do that I, math, I feel I as though I, I think I want Santa to be six feet. OK, that's fine. There's I'm also fine a that. big bad toy store exclusive Santa. Which one is that? Uh, he, I was looking on their page, and he was like three pages in. Aren't they all exclusive? They all say exclusive to be BBTS. Do they? Okay, so yeah. maybe, maybe I'm just. This one has. Yeah. I think a head with this the is hat like, and then that, no hat. Yes, so that's no unless they're selling these another way. I think it's you can only get them through Big Bad Toy Store, and they're all exclusive right now. Gotcha. So it's like a partnership between Big Bad and this company. Now, OK, OK, here's a problem I have. The regular Santa, all of his hands are hands. I need some mittens on this guy. I need some oh, green sure. mittens. Green mittens. Throw that in as an accessory pack. I'll I'll pay extra for that. But yeah, I well, think I would like a, a at least white, well white mittens. Yeah, something not hands. It's cold out there. Robot Santa's got a shotgun. There you go. <laughs> I do like I like they're kind of terrible, but I kind of like it. All the variants like the camo Santa has yeah. got a rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really love the zombie one. That's really funny to me. And I don't like zombie stuff generally. No, I'm the zombie guy here. And he comes with that evil yeah. Santa head. He looks menacing. Robot Santa. Man, they're all good. Is there a deal if you get all of they them? Are. It's like cheaper. I don't think there is. I want the cape, too. It's fabric. I like that. Yeah, I love Santa toys like, you know, how they like Michaels and stuff. They sell those Santa statues, but they're they're made of fabric and they have like wires in them so you can pose them. Oh, sure. Yeah, I love that stuff. So like I've always loved like Christmas decorations and stuff. So this is right up my alley. And uh, there's not enough Santa action figures. It's all decoration at the end of the day. There's there's not enough of that. There's nothing for a guy like you and me. When does this when like how long do we have to back this? I don't know how long we have to back it. I know that if it's funded and production gets going, we won't get them until December of next year. Yeah. So, I mean, that's fair. I mean, that's just what you have it to is. expect. But I mean, they're not. That well, if expensive. you only get if you're only getting two and there's two Santas or if you have the full yeah. year to to pay them off. I know. Realistically. Oh, yeah, because we take you, all that bag- all that Rancor money. Well, there you go. I'd, I'd so much rather have 10 of these than one Rancor. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. 10 different flavors of Santa. There Does Big go. Bad Toy Store charge you? I don't think they charge you right away. They so don't. you really do get that full year to pay for it or, or cancel do. if you want. Yeah. All right. So that's exciting to me. Um, maybe they'll send us a free one now because we give them so much promotion. Right. Let's see. What else do we want to talk about? Very quickly. I went through my list of things, so I'm good. You covered everything? I covered all the, all the stuff I got this week. Very quickly, we each got our wing nut and screw loose this week. Oh, yes, we did. From NECA. Do you have yours nearby that you can look at it? Uh, I'll have to get up real quick, if you don't mind. All right, get up real quick. I mean, I've looked too. at the teeth. I think we were talking about okay, the teeth. Yeah, right? okay. So that's what I want to talk about. So the I front know it, teeth. Yeah. I've lo- I, so I, I saw them at the store, and I looked at them because the teeth, there's just something weird about how it's painted. Are and they I've supposed a, to be fangs? I think that's what it is. I think if you look at some of the earlier sculpts, 
or like yeah. picture of the sculpt. There's like two very tiny fangs here and it, it matches okay. the artwork that has very tiny fangs. And it's either they didn't pat, they didn't paint the black line around that or they just like right. they just like they thought it was a bump in the sculpt and they tried to paint it away. Mine's like very messy, but it just yeah. looks like it's squared teeth in the front. Like they just painted over the things right. themselves. So it just yeah. looks like squared teeth throughout the throughout the portrait. Yeah. So that's disappointing <laughs> because it's so <laughs> it's such a nice sculpt that it's sort of weird. Like, you know, your face is front and center. It's sort of an unfortunate uh, mistake. Those are but great figures. That came those out. are great. Yeah. That box is so big. It is. I'm looking at the two of them now, and then I'm like, I'm like, I've got so many of these turtle boxes. Just yeah, I know. I'm starting to out. Rack, rack them up too. And then I got We're all of them get coming. The, uh, quarter four. Right? We got another email from NECA. I, I got one. Into that quarter did. four. I did. Yeah. Oh, everything's Q4, and they're really working hard on getting that Channel Six pack out. So it's fine. I'm not holding my breath. I don't have anywhere for it right now. Anyways, <laughs> I saw that somebody has the Scrag figure over in China. Oh, really? Like okay. They, they, it fell off the, the assembly line. They oh, completely yeah. changed the sculpt for both heads. Oh, wow. From what we saw. And I think it's more cartoon accurate now, but it also looks worse because it's like the hot dog shape. It's like he's a hot dog now. Scrag's head. Oh, it's so he's got very like the, wide. The Stewie Griffin head. He's got like the yes, Stewie exactly. Griffin head. The football yeah. head. Okay. So it, I there are frames of the episode where that's what it looks like. But that yeah. cartoon is so sort of like, you know, from frame to frame inconsistent. So I don't know if yeah. that was just a weird frame or if that's actually what the character was supposed to look like. But I I think the consensus may be that the original sculpt was better, even if it was not accurate to that episode. Okay. So this loot crate, man, it is just doom or it's just like uh <laughs> not haunted what is it cursed <laughs> there's cursed. just something weird like shipping's late that first figure was wrong or like right scale was wrong well, we're still due for four figures <sighs> yeah I, I, I need my i need my three other shirts so i can wear them for the show oh my god the shirts i went i went looking for a thanksgiving shirt just to wear and i was like i don't think mm. these exist it's fine oh i forgot it's thanksgiving this is the thanksgiving episode it is. Well, you Gobble got other things you on your wobble. mind, so what are you going to care? <laughs> no, we we've sort of given up on Thanksgiving. We've just had a series yeah. of years. You know, last year was the pandemic. Prior to that, I think right. my father in law had surgery on Thanksgiving or something. So like we've we've pretty much just stopped having actual Thanksgiving. Oh. <laughs> that was going well, to continue it. this year because the baby was going to be born the day prior to Thanksgiving. Yeah. It's really not a big deal. It's like we could get together with our, you know, like most, my family, my side of the family lives in Massachusetts. So we're not getting together anyways yep. on Thanksgiving. So whatever. I don't care. It's all it's all made by the Hallmark channel to sell TV oh. shows. <laughs> not a big deal to me. Maybe I'll get to see Ghostbusters on Thanksgiving. I'll be thankful. There, for you, that. Go. there you go. I have a lot. I have a lot to be thankful this year. The, my new son is uh is here in the world he's healthy henry charlie my first son is great my wife is doing well we have this wonderful thriving show <laughs> it's just yes. lots lots to be thankful for this year i don't need a day to be thankful i'm thankful year round no i'm thankful year round as well yeah everyone's still healthy yeah that's right my son got the covid vaccine yesterday oh nice so yeah, I would, you know, it's just, you know, as bad as it's been for a lot of people, we've been very fortunate. So definitely thankful. Um, I'm really thankful to myself for my good planning. I'm not like putting this out there into the world that like some some being was there moving the pieces like we've just been very careful and we listen to science. So thankful to um, my mom for making me a smart child so that I'm not dumb. Wow. Thank you to our parents who made us smart children to turn into small, smart. smart adults. Wicked yes, smart. smart. Wicked smart Wicked over smart. here. Responsible, responsible human responsible. beings. Responsible. That... Yeah. So thank you to us. <laughs> We're <laughs> doing all me. right. We're doing good. Pat on the back. All right. Yes. I think good. that's a pretty good, that's a good place to end it this week. It is. It is. All right, everybody. Well, you know what we say. We don't want to grow up, but we already did. Have a great week, everybody. Have a great Thanksgiving. 
Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Bye. So our collector's crush videos are are crushing it. Like are we need really? to find a way to incorporate the word collector crush into every video because <laughs> the toy hunt I did is over 400. Wow.